Can you explain the history of the Banjara people and do the Banjaras have an early link with the Indus Valley civilization? So the Banjara people are a nomadic people who live within India, who travel within India, mostly in the Rajasthan, Gujarat region, Northern India, Western India region. And we don't know exactly when these people became, uh, they became nomadic. Uh, traditionally, if you look at the antique, uh, antiquity of India, the long history of India, we did not have nomadic people. So something happened at some point in time, some historical event that uh, rendered these people destitute and homeless and they are uh, reduced to wandering. And it's strange that even after independence, when we are, when we have our own own form of government, etc., these people are still homeless and destitute and still nomadic. So we don't know exactly the origins of how they became nomadic, how they were forced to adopt a nomadic lifestyle. This has not been studied by historians. What I believe is during the foreign invasions, the Turkic invasions, many people were uprooted, their life lives were destroyed, etc., and especially those who resisted the uh, invaders and occupiers. So maybe it is those, these uh, Banjaras are possibly the descendants of those people who resisted and who were basically expelled from their, their native uh, ancestral homelands and they were forced to go into exile. Some people were, were forced to go into exile in forests, otherwise they would be killed, especially people who fought, who fought back and resisted. So maybe it became a tradition over time because they had to spend centuries in hiding in forests and hills. And eventually they were able to come out in the open, but they don't have any homes anymore. They have lost their homeland and their hometowns. So maybe that is the origin of the Banjaras. It's a very interesting piece of history. And it is something that needs to be rectified. They, these people need to be rehabilitated. Do they have any link with the Indus Valley civilization? Yes, we all have links with the Indus Valley or Harappan era of India's civilization. It is not a separate civilization. It is one of the specific eras in the timeline of Indian history and India's civilization. So every one of us has genetic and cultural linkages from the Harappan era of our civilization. Our culture, which we practice today, with Hinduism, Buddhism, and all the various different forms of Dharmic culture, they are all very much uh, attested in the various artifacts we have discovered all across the place in the uh, so-called Harappan region, Indus Valley region. So yes, we are directly linked to that civilization. We are descendants of that phase of our civilization. We have genetic ties and cultural ties and, all, and civilizational ties with the Indus Valley civilization. And so do the Banjara people.